Uh, we know that tourism is critical, not just to Atlantic City, but to the, in, our entire state's economy. Last year, tourists to our state spent $38 billion, $38 billion on visits to New Jersey, just shy of the all-time high that was reached in 2007 of $39.5 billion and a 7% increase over what we did in 2010. It's a shore economy alone. Atlantic, Cape May, Monmouth, and Ocean represents half that total. Half that total comes out of those four counties. And so we know that our shore economy is extraordinarily important to New Jersey's overall economy. And so we've done a lot. And I'm not going to go all through all the things that we've been doing uh, to try to make uh, Atlantic City a better place. A number of the other speakers have said that already. The, the $20 million do AC television, radio, and print ad campaign to attract visitors to Atlantic City, the first such effort in years. You see it on either side of you here, but not just here, you see it everywhere. Um, and I saw it, I was in New York City the other night, saw it there. Um, it's all over the place and that's great. And it's gonna attract more and more people here. We need to invest more in marketing this great city um, if we expect people to come here and to spend their money here. Uh, Revel opening up this weekend. Uh, the completion of that project sends a strong message to neighboring states and to the rest of the country that Atlantic City is coming back and it's coming back in a big way. Um, we've completed the phase one of the boardwalk relighting project at Albany to Rhode Island Avenue. And the second phase is going to provide another 130 additional lights along the boardwalk uh, and a big investment there, $125 million in reinvestment at the Golden Nugget. And on and on and on, this first phase of the steel pier that you see behind us. Uh, it was helped by a $6 million loan from the CRDA. We're going to continue to partner public sector and private sector together to build what we need to build here in Atlantic City. But we need to do more. And that's why I'm pleased to announce today that our administration is formally submitting our sports gambling regulations this week. I signed this bill into law because it's another way to boost our casino and horse racing industries and encourage tourists to come here to Atlantic City. And so those regulations will be introduced this week. Uh, it'll go through the normal comment period. And we expect those rules to be enacted this fall in October and November and for sports gambling to come here to Atlantic City uh, to further enhance the experience of people who want to come here, visit here, gamble here, and enjoy time here. 50% uh, of those proceeds that are derived from the collection of the licensing fees for the people who get that will be used to fund compulsive gambling treatment programs. So we understand that we also have a social responsibility when we do these things and we're gonna use half of the licensing fees to fund programs like that. Um, and so it'll be another exciting way to add to the experience here in Atlantic City. I know it's something people have been waiting for for a long time. Those regulations now have been completed and approved by the Attorney General and be issued in this next week and we'll be ready to go, I hope this fall uh, with a whole new phase of gaming experiences here in Atlantic City. I think that'll just enhance the experience here for the people who already come and draw more people to come here. And so uh, I tell you, it's much nicer here than in Trenton <laughs> for two reasons. One, when I left Trenton, it was raining. It's beautiful here. And when I left Trenton, I left the legislature there. <laughs> and they're not here. <laughs>